Hey guys, it's Stephen here. Uh, I just wanted to make a very quick video about something really, really important that a group of wonderful Manchester City fans are doing at the moment. There's no video about football because I'm away this weekend for a quick break, but I also wanted to draw attention before the West Ham game to the great work that the Man City fans, Food Bank Support, are doing at the moment. If you don't know about him, it's basically a group of Manchester City fans, uh, Alex, John, Nick, David and Jill, and amongst many others, have decided to start doing collections outside the ground. Um, and they're doing one tomorrow. Uh, before the West Ham game and I really wanted to draw attention to that to, to hopefully maybe drum up a little bit of support because um, they're a phenomenal bunch of people uh, with an incredibly worthy cause and they've already uh, collected so much that if it carries on this uh, way the Manchester Central Food Bank which they're uh, in aid of at the moment uh, I said that basically they'll be the biggest donations across uh, Manchester if they carry on at this rate which is an astonishing achievement given that they've only just really started going um, Honestly, I admire this hugely. Uh, it's too many people uh, in Manchester are struggling. Too many people have to resort to using food banks. Um, and that's uh, tragic, uh, <laughs> very tragic always, especially given the country that we live in and given uh, how many of us live so comfortably, myself included. Um, it's also a shame that a city have only just now um, had a food bank in their name and it took the fans to do that. Until New Year's Day, City were the only North West club that didn't have donations taken in their name at home games. Everton Liverpool fans kicked it off a long time ago under the hashtag Hunger Doesn't Wear Club Colours, which is so true, so incredibly true, of course. Um, and because of their work, They've got a van as well, which is paid for by the Liverpool CEO, Peter Moore. He bought them a van, which they can use at every home game uh, to collect and store these donations. Um, and they have enough to feed 400 to 600 people a month in the city, which is remarkable. And hopefully this is where uh, the Manchester City fans, food bank support can get to as well. And they're already taking absolutely huge strides. So if you can spare any time, please pop along tomorrow uh, to donate in any way you can. In terms of what you can donate, um, I was chatting to Alex and he recommended basically no non-perishable goods so nothing that needs to be stored in a freezer or anything like that obviously it doesn't last unfortunately even though it'd be very kind of you it just wouldn't last sadly to be useful but things like um and there's a graphic on screen next to me now UHT milk uh long life fruit juice things like tinned meat and fish and uh peanut butter rice pudding toiletries sanitary products toothbrushes uh, and even money as well and there's a just giving link in the description below so if you're not in Manchester you can't get to the game you can still be involved and help support uh this incredible cause in terms of the collection point um they're kind of like uh just below the Nexon bridge kind of opposite as the near the academy once again there'll be uh, a graphic on screen now they've got a big kind of green gazebo that they bought from uh uh, Argus themselves, bless them, and it's got banners and all that kind of stuff, so you can find them. I don't forget, it isn't all uh, in aid of the Manchester Central Food Bank. They're no way officially uh, affiliated with Manchester City, by the way. Um, they're constantly in talks with Manchester City in any way they can improve it. So the further this grows, the more they can do, it will help their cause to get it seen by more people. So if you can, basically tomorrow. Uh, get down and bring me some uh, some stuff with you that would be absolutely phenomenal. Um, they're doing such incredible work, uh, and it it's just amazing, genuinely amazing stuff. I, I would love to get down. Unfortunately, I'm not in the country, but the next home game, um, I will be there. They also do collections at the women's games as well. So you've got tomorrow, obviously, from two till four p.m. Uh, with the West Ham. Also, the West Ham fans are coming down. I think it's um. Let me get their title. I think it's uh. Iron supporting food banks or something like that. Sorry, guys, if I got that wrong. I can't remember because I wrote it down somewhere. But the West Ham food bank, yeah, it is iron supporting food banks. They're coming down tomorrow to ahead of the game, which is uh, incredible. One of their guys actually is based in the northwest and drives down to the home games in London uh, just to collect and comes back, which is just incredible work. Um, but yeah, we've got the West Ham one tomorrow. Then they're doing a collection before the City Women game. Um, versus Ipswich on Sunday the 16th of February from 12.30 to 2pm. Then the next women's game after that versus Chelsea from 12.30 to 2pm on Sunday the 23rd of February. So um, if you can bring a bag along of some kind of food you've got lying around or anything that can help, uh, would it would be really, really useful. And um, once again, a big shout out to all involved because they're absolute heroes and the, the rate that it's growing at already. Uh, Alex, John, Nick, David and Jill and there's loads more involved according to Alex. Um, 
it's absolutely remarkable. Uh, so Blues, if you can, get down tomorrow and uh, help it. As the hashtag goes, hunger doesn't wear club colours. We're all in this together on this road. Anyway, I thought I'd give a shout out for the incredible work they're doing because they've raised so much. For example, in January alone, they got 900 kilograms donated to the food bank after four collections. That's incredible. As they said themselves, that's 300,000 tea bags or 2,168 cans of beans or nine newborn baby elephants. That's a lot of food. It's remarkable. Anyway, so once a quick shout out of that. Uh, in terms of videos, we'll be back next week. For now, this is more important. Anyway, see you in a bit.